Hi, I'm Taryn. And I'm Damon. Today we're going to introduce you to a fun and challenging activity. It's called the Plankton Challenge. Plankton are the tiny little organisms that float around in the ocean. The name plankton comes from the Greek word planktos, which means wandering or drifting. Phytoplankton are the tiny plant-like plankton, which get their energy from the sun. You can remember this because phyto means plant. Zooplankton are the tiny animals which eat the phytoplankton. That's easy to remember because you find animals at the zoo. That's right. So a plankton floating around me while I swim at the beach? Well, yes, the ocean is like a soup full of plankton, but most of them are so tiny that you can't see them. You can fit a million of the smallest phytoplankton into one teaspoon. Phytoplankton can't swim, and most zooplankton can only really wriggle a bit, so they get around by drifting on the ocean currents. It must be hard to keep floating all day long. I always sink when I try to float. That's why plankton have evolved with features that help to keep them neutrally buoyant. That means they don't sink or float, but they can hover in the middle. Ah, OK. Just like dandelion seeds. When I blow them, they float slowly away with the wind. That's a good example. And that's why some plankton look a little bit like dandelion seeds. Their shape and spines can help to slow their rate of sinking. Now it's time to do the plankton challenge. Using some very basic craft items like pop sticks, plasticine, foam balls, pipe cleaners and matchsticks, have a go at making your own plankton. The trick is to design your plankton with features that will help to slow them from sinking. You can use the matchsticks as spines or the foam balls to add some buoyancy. Remember, the challenge is to make sure that it doesn't sink or float. It has to hover in the middle. And if it doesn't work the first time, adapt it and try again. Good luck. Once you start, you can't stop. The full lesson and curriculum links for this activity are waiting for you to explore at the Fisheries Education website, Marine Waters.